network is or else first of all this is my pc this is my device and i want to communicate with these pc simple word i can tell these two devices are in network only when they are able to communicate see this is these are physically connected physically they are in network but virtually or logically they are not connected why because for the first thing this is my this my, this pc of mine you shut it down and this is up this can be able to send the data but this cannot why because this is shut down it's off it's switched off it cannot send the reply back they are not in the network they are not in the network so simple definition a network is interconnection or connection between two or more devices which can able to communicate or which can able to share the data then only those devices are said to be in network okay you got my point though they are physically connected they are not in the network if they are logically or if they are able to reply back and if they are able to communicate then only they are in the network once if you are going into your job or once you are going into real time scenario the devices have uh, your boss or whoever if he is giving you a uh, situation like you need to troubleshoot you will just tell that the device is not in the network is going to troubleshoot he will tell you this actually they are physically connected then what is the point they are not in the network thing is they are, it is not able to reply back or it is not able to communicate so now got my point yeah. the network is when the devices are interconnected and they are able to communicate then only they are in the net got the point right yeah this is a simple definition and so we are going to start with ccna rns and why cisco course any idea why cisco course why did you come here till here from africa to india and from india to unites to learn this cisco course why actually yeah, because i want to know more about about networking okay i don't know like how did you come because i can share like your problem to the other actually why cisco is see actually today cisco is the world market biggest market for the networking okay whatever you think what in in networking whatever the whatever the sub branch you take okay the tech rnds routing and switching tech security you have data center you have many more like this when in the next slide you will be able to see all this whatever you consider cisco is the the biggest platform and why cisco in particularly we can say that whatever the huge companies whatever the uh, biggest mnc's you consider they always prefer cisco cisco devices because it gives such a good service to the to their client of course ultimately if you consider these many mnc's they are using cisco devices of course they expect the troubleshooter or network engineer with this certification cisco certification yes or no yes or no if now if you are having an mnc and you are expecting a network engineer to troubleshoot your devices he can be he should be able to operate them he should be able to configure them he should be able to troubleshoot them when can he do it until and unless he is certified from that particular vendor then only he can do that job whatever you are giving if in order to do this cisco is giving you the certification you need to do that certification in that way cisco certification is a big like what should i say it's a biggest it certification in the world today. so yeah different cisco courses if you consider a network 
it is not just an interconnection between two devices as time evaluated network has also evaluated and as a time passed on different branch different 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 data branches has evolved see earlier we we just used to concentrate on how this pc wants to come how this pc can communicate with this pc once they started communicating we started uh, we, we started thinking of security once the security is achieved we started thinking of the data is shared but where it has to be stored then we came with the data center earlier we, we used to have only network in the very near places okay if you are considering a company like this uninet we, we we just used to communicate from here to there but today the world has become big and now everyone in the world wants to communicate so, so you suppose now you, you are from africa and you have come india and now if you want to communicate with your parents or with your relations in africa how can it be possible somehow you will be going to isp and whatever the message you send it will, it will be going for isp and from isp it will be going to your parents right so as everyone want to communicate the network the networking has evolved that everywhere in the world anyone in the world can easily communicate in order to make it we need to have service providers then service provider has evolved now we this collaboration collaboration if you speak about collaboration whatever we uh, communication is not just in the form in the form of messages it also it can also happen through the voice calls right so collaboration is both the combination of this uh, rns and voice and cloud today cloud is evolving you know what's a cloud then industrial then wireless even wireless is also now evolving industrial industrial it's like it's it is also a networking certification yeah see but, for, but if you consider all these from here to here whatever you want to do the basic thing you want to have a basic knowledge you wanted to have is in the routing and switching then only you can be able to either the security or the data center or the collaboration or the service provider whatever the thing you want the basic thing is rns okay and if you consider the grade or if you consider the level of the certification the very basic one will be the ccna in the cisco after that it is a, it is an associate level it is an associate level once you are done with this you will be able to do the professional level cisco certified network professional and then you will be having the internet network expert this is the expert level okay. this is about the cisco certifications and yeah so this is about the cisco certifications so as it I told you the importance of RNS. Whatever you want to do, you need to go through the RNS until and unless you can. Because whatever the whatever the content involved in security data center or remaining whatever the sub branches, it is completely dependent on RNS. It is the basic thing RNS. Then only you can do the remaining process.